Hey there, www.andrewmarkmusic.com. Uh, this is a riff log on a Jordan Peterson comment in a video he uh, that was posted with him debating Sam Harris about a year ago. And he made a comment that, um, that Christianity sort of folded in on itself via this innate... Um, desire to learn the truth about existence and uh, I want to unpack that and uh, challenge it to a certain degree um, yeah there's there's first I want to get into a couple of other quick points here I I wanted to uh, comment on a on something Sam Harris said too there that he can't find any Jewish people that uh, that still believe in the Torah <clears throat> Really? Um, I guess one of the great inversions of our age is that Israel will get its Messiah via, you know, atheism and secularism, uh, all propelled by Jewish interests. <clears throat> now, this is separate to what the nature of reality is. Um, and this does tie into claims that Jordan Peterson made in that video. Um, I think first, first off, I think I know what he means. You know that 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 science and reason and logic and the Enlightenment uh, disprove the metaphysical foundation of Christian theology. Um, to a, you know, I, I don't really. That's not what I'm having a contention with. Um, my contention as a Christian Gnostic is is whether that that theology was even true to begin with to even be able to deconstruct and the answer to that from my perspective is no I mean you know it can be argued that uh, the Christianity that he's talking about wasn't even the real authentic truth of Christianity um, I don't want to go into that too much. My website, andrewmarkmusic.com, has a lot on Gnosticism. Um, but if the foundational story created by the Roman Catholic Church, or the foundational metaphysics, uh, was incorrect, um, then that does sort of play into uh, his assertion and the relevance of it and, and the truth quotient of what he was suggesting there. Um, so I guess what I'm saying in a nutshell is that if, if the metaphysical claims of normative Christianity were false um, right from the time of the councils, then it's kind of hard to say that there was this amazing desire for truth within Christendom that um, did itself in. I mean, it's sort of an absurd, uh, you know, assertion from that perspective. I want to also touch on woke, woke culture here, too. I'm sorry, it's a bit of stream of consciousness. It does tie into this. Um, there seems to be two mainstream definitions of woke out there. There's a spiritual definition where woke seems to be Buddhist happiness. It can be deconstructed to the foundational level of, of Buddhist happiness, and that's, that's woke in the spiritual context. And then there seems to be a materialist, leftist um, uh, definition of woke, which is, you know, basically social justice, you know, that... Um, what the right tends to call cultural Marxism, um, this focus on identity, you know, uh, things like that. Um, I don't want to go into, you know, the veracity of those claims. I think both of them have a certain, a certain sense of truth to them. But from a Christian Gnostic, they're not woke. From a Christian Gnostic perspective, they're not woke. Um, they're not woke because both of them missed the mark of the truth of the nature of reality of this demiurgic construct. So 
it's only until you get to understanding the nature of Yahweh and the nature of this demiurgic construct that you can deservedly call yourself or label oneself woke. Um, now, Christian Gnostics, uh, for the most part, are not going to take issue with the materialist um, definition of woke because we would argue on a cultural level a lot of the same things. Um, of course, the incongruency comes in uh, because we're not materialists, so we reject that part of leftism. Um, now, the woke of happiness in Buddhism, well, yeah, I guess, you know, the analogy I use is, is is your Pablo Escobar and you're in prison but you you were fortunate enough to be able to create a prison for yourself that is pretty damn swanky and you want to be as happy as you can in that prison but you know to deny that the prison exists which is you know a part of this spiritual wokeness within uh, definitely with a new in the new age or uh, is a part of that and and you know, Eastern spiritual spirituality in general, uh, that denies the nature of Ra and Brahma, you know, that it's demiurgic, um, which played out in Abraham, Ra, uh, all these um, iterations of the demiurgic construct that we find ourselves in. Um, yeah, uh, so, it's not woke, you know? It's maybe partially woke. Um, uh, so I, I want to just bring this back into this idea of Western civilization that Sam Harris espouses and um, the Enlightenment and this search for truth that did Christianity and I, I just want to finish go back to that finish up there um, if you deny reality and say that the Kabbalists didn't come out of of the Middle East in the 1400s via Freemasonry and Jesuits and in and, and, and the Middle East via Shriners, the House of Saud all this over the last 500 years if you deny that then I guess you can get to, to Sam Harris's point of view but it is a denial of reality of what happened because the Kabbalists did come out under all those factions and they did um, hijack um, Roman Christianity and um, it, it ended up in schism, every type of schism you can imagine, 33,000 schisms today. Um, so uh, there was this, it wasn't purely rationalism that did this. This was Kabbalistic esotericism or occultism that did this, you know, that um, that deconstructed Christianity's um, metaphysics. Um, this, is, this is entirely not uh, as clear and delineated as Mr. Harris wants to uh, assert that it is. Um, it's, it, it's far more treacherous and messy once you understand and give um, uh, a certain amount of credence to what um, the Kabbalists did and are still doing uh, with a definite, you know, end game in mind. And, and to deny this is, that this happened is to be in denial of cultural history and what truly happened. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say on this. Um, basically disagree with the assertion that Jordan Peterson made there that it was this, you know, just this pure desire for truth that Christian and Christian culture had that led to Christianity's demise. So, you know, it, it wiped out the meta, metaphysical foundations of Christianity, not, you know, um, I, again, to steal man him, I, I, I understand what he's saying, but if, if, if you're going to deny parts of reality and misrepresent what happened, um, then the claim becomes, you know, somewhat dubious. Anyway, 
Um, working class hero, my cover, I'll attach to the end of this. Peace, peace out, peace the fuck out. As soon as you're born, the name you feel small. By giving you no time instead of it all To the pain is so big you feel nothing at all I want to give up my sleep so Time.